Hello, players and coaches. This is Doc Scholl, baseball analyst and instructor. And I worked with another 14-year-old kid at a summer game. We uber-sensed him and we showed some of the mechanics that he has when he's receiving the ball and trying to throw a runner out. Gave him a couple of tips. I want to review some of those tips, some of the things that he's going to work on, and some of the things that he does extremely well. So the first thing we're going to discuss is as he receives the ball, I want you to notice where his body goes. He, a lot of his body momentum is going up towards the sky. And we want to have most of our momentum going towards second base. You're going to pop up into a squat position, but you really want to have all of your momentum going towards second base. So that's the first thing I want you to look for. And look here on Civelli. As he pops, he comes up a little bit, but still in that nice, strong, athletic position so that he could explode towards second base. Okay. So, the next thing I noticed that my pet catcher does very well, this 14-year-old, is he has really nice scap load. And you can watch my other videos that show how to develop some of your scap load. And you'll notice all the top catchers in MLB have a great scap load which allows for that great flexibility and upper rotation to throw down to second base. So I love that he does that. looks really good. The other part I wanted to look at, which is extremely important, is that front foot. Often young catchers will open that front foot once they pop, and what that'll do is that'll release the hips. If you notice, Savelli, his hips are nice and uh, lined up to second base. He's ready to explode. And my young 14-year-old catcher, too, his foot's pretty close. He can maybe even be a little bit more to help with that rotation and close up. Okay. Uh, but most important that we discussed is the footwork. And I want you to notice what he does. As he pops up, he takes his right foot and jabs it three to four inches. Now, there are a selected number of major leaguers that do do this. Those are major leaguers often with great arm strength down to second base. But what we like to do is, and they say, is have that right foot replace the left foot. More important than just replacing it, I want you to understand the importance of once you replace it, that you drive with that inner thigh. That is going to allow you to really, really use your lower half. And I think you could see Cervelli really driving with his lower half and rotating and doing a good job. So that's why I think it's important to pop your feet as fast as you can, replace it, and then drive with the inner thigh, which will be easier if he's in that athletic squat position. Okay? Uh, the other thing he does extremely well, and you'll see this on both sides, is you'll see he'll tuck his glove, he'll rotate, and he has a nice finish with his throw. Sometimes catches will short arm it who are young, and he really tucks his glove and uses his upper body to rotate, which is great. Okay, so some of the things, just to recap, that we're going to work on is trying to stay more in an athletic position instead of popping up. We're going to get that foot to replace the other one a little bit more and really drive with that inner thigh so he can use those legs, square up in alignment, scap load, and finish. Great job. This kid really wants to improve, so I look forward to continuing working with him. Uh, if you like the video... Hit me up with a like. Check out my YouTube channel, Doc Scholl. Uh, check out all my other videos in UberSense under drills. Or send me an email at doc2323 at gmail.com. Thank you very much.